Suppose climate wasn't changing. Instead, it was perfectly constant. If we measured Earth's average temperature every year for a century, what would we find? Would it be the same every year, looking like this? No, it would vary from year to year. Not because climate changed, just because there are always fluctuations, from day to day, from week to week, even from year to year. This isn't real temperature data. I got it by running a random number generator. I just wanted to show what fluctuations look like. They go up and down, down and up, but over the long haul, they don't really get anywhere. They just wiggle around a constant average. The fact that the average is constant is what makes this climate constant. Climate is like the rules of the game, in this case, constant average. But weather is the roll of the dice. And just because the rules don't change doesn't mean you can't get different rolls. Suppose climate were changing, so average temperature was on the rise. The average might increase steadily, but there will still be those never-ending fluctuations. I took my random data and added a trend. The fluctuations are still there. They won't stop, but the upward trend is plain to see. It's easy because there's enough time for the trend to dominate and overcome the fluctuations. What if there wasn't enough time? What if we drew your attention to only this part of the data? Even worse, suppose those last 13 years were all that we showed you. In that case, the trend wouldn't look like much. That's because it's so hard to pin down with so little data. The uncertainty is too much. If that's all the data we had, we'd get the wrong impression of the real trend because all we'd really have to go on is the fluctuations. And we know the trend is still there because this data is made of a constant trend plus random fluctuations. Some people draw your attention to the fluctuations, which distracts us from the trend. Christopher Booker writes for the British newspaper, The Telegraph. He recently included a comment about England's meteorological office acquiring a new computer for their weather and climate sim simulations. In it, he talks about a fall in global temperature equal to the entire net rise of the 20th century. Is that true? Did global temperature actually fall far enough to negate the entire 20th century rise? Here's Earth's average temperature change each month since 1880. This is real temperature data from NASA. If we zoom in on the last 40 years or so, starting about 1975, we can easily see what it is Christopher Booker is talking about. He's talking about a couple of fluctuations. If you compare an especially high fluctuation to an especially low fluctuation, you might convince yourself that temperature is falling fast. But a fluctuation is not a trend. Trends have some persistence. Fluctuations don't last. Climate scientists tell us that it's the trend that matters. That's why it's what they talk about. Fluctuations will always be with us. They're part of nature. But the rising trend of global temperature that we've been seeing is man-made. According to the overwhelming consensus of climate scientists, this trend spells trouble. And the reason? Contrary to some, what some people think, CO2, carbon dioxide, is the story. When fluctuations are large, and when the amount of time studied isn't long enough, it can be very hard to know what the real trend is. For climate, it can take decades for the trend to emerge from the noise. We've been studying it long enough to know that the real trend in Earth's temperature is upward at a worrisome pace. Beware of those who use fluctuations, and especially time spans that are too short, to give you the wrong idea about the trend.